third time, right? I was the one who maybe started on the first one. And at that time, it was more of a confidence building exercise. But now I believe we have reached a stage where it is going to move forward. In between, there used to be whether we move forward or we don't move forward. But you've shown confidence in Mumbai and in India. And you have been the pilot and you have been the leader. So special thanks to both of you. Please uh, convey my uh, thanks to Mr. Dingle. Uh, he especially came here and he did encourage us in this whole activity. Uh, you are all aware that uh, we all started with a few callings. Uh, this year we are going to have 60 callings overall on Mumbai. I am only talking about Mumbai right now. Uh, 60 callings this year, plus uh, in April, there are two more ships which are coming, I believe, Zen Cruises is uh, starting, and they're going to have 100 callings uh, per annum in Mumbai. So next year, we will probably reach about 200 callings, uh, starting from, if you remember, 10, 15 callings, 200 callings in three years itself. So it's a, quite a happy situation, and we are able to start seeing the results of the efforts which we have made. If you remember, we prepared the new SOPs in the Ministry of Tourism and Ministry of Shipping and circulated all over the country. They sent teams to all five ports uh, in order that they are properly implemented. And I must thank uh, if CSL guys are here and immigration guys are here, and especially customs. Because Mr. Tandon, I know, has whenever I have made a request to him for cruise, he says it's done. Straight away he says it's done. And he is wel welcoming the ship so much that, uh, in fact, I have been trying to give the uh, Chennai uh, no, no, coaching chief commissioner, yeah, please follow what Mr. Tandon is doing so that the pro issues which have come up can all also be resolved. Uh, we, I also had a meeting with the chairman uh, the other day on some of the customs issues which are there and they are very, very positive. They are looking for the right time when something positive will happen on that. Uh, you are also aware, and I want to convey this to our foreign guests and even Consul General, that uh, in the east part of Mumbai, we are developing it as a sea tourism destination. Uh, the other day we inaugurated the waterfront where the domestic cruise terminal has started. Uh, Angria ship has come and Bombay Goa cruise is going on an alternate day. They are taking over 300 to 350 uh, passengers. It's a smaller ship, nothing compared to what we have here, nothing compared to what is coming uh, next year. Um, so that waterfront is under development. But when you entered this place, you would have seen some area which is broken. <coughs> so what we are doing, we are trying to develop an international cruise terminal of the size of the international airport in uh, Mumbai. So it's going to be as fancy, probably it will look better than that, because we have a planned a facade which is going to be much, much better than what the airport looks like. It should get completed by next October, November. That is our goal. It's going on very, very fast, you can see. In fact, the passengers may have had some dust. I've told them that please put some curtains on this, but we are very, very keen that the cruise tourism develops. Uh, we are also developing a marina in this area. The domestic cruise terminal has started. A new waterfront has started. And uh, this is one of our main goals. Uh, in fact, we are aware that it is also going to create huge uh, employment uh, opportunities in the country. Uh, also, all the 